here, the first thing she would do is thank you all for being here. Thank you all for what you do every day to help kids like Devin, to showcase the history of this nation, to showcase the um, grandeur and beauty of this nation and the creatures that live in it, and to help us learn more about this, our world that we live in and become better citizens for knowing all of those things. She'd especially thank you for being here to help her because she wants to help you be you. And by telling the stories you tell in every congressional office across the Hill, it helps advocates like Senator Mikulski, like Senator Reed, who was here before you, say, you'll remember when your museum head, when your aquarium head, when your zoo, when your cultural center was here, and how they told you it impacts your students, your citizens, every day. She told me she's very honored to receive this award <coughs> because she looks at all of these folks and the museums they represent and knows what an impact they have on the everyday lives of Americans. You bring us together. You make us stronger. You help us remember our culture and our history, and you help us look to the future, to saving the planet. And she'll keep fighting. We'll all keep fighting for STEM education, for museum funding, for saving species, just like the zoos and aquariums are doing it, and for giving these keystone experiences, experiences like a young Barbara Mikulski had that inspire, inspire you to make history better, inspire you to learn more about science, to discover a new star, to save the planet. So thank you for going out there. Thank you for, as Senator <coughs> Reed said, not assuming we know. And thank you for sharing your knowledge, not just here on the Hill, but every day out in your communities. <coughs> because it's not just Senator Barbara Mikulski that I want to thank you on behalf of. It's all of the students. It's all of the grown-ups who come to your museums every day and say, I didn't know that, so thank you.